Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool professional looking logo using GIMP. So here's just an example. I think this looks pretty neat looking. So to create a logo, first of all, open up GIMP. And then once it's fully opened, uh, you want to go up to File, click on Create, then click on Logos. And here you should see a large list of different designs. This, the design that you saw in the logo I just showed you is called Frosty. So I'll just select Frosty. And then this window should open up. You can determine what your text is going to say just by typing in whatever you want. I'll just type in Computer Techie. You can determine how large your text is. I think I will make mine about, no, no, not 200, about 50. You can change your font um, to whatever is available. Um, I will find the font that I normally use. Hold on a second. Then click close. The background color can be whatever you want. I'll just leave it as a white. Then select OK and it creates your logo automatically. And it looks pretty neat. Um, you can uh, see over right here it has a background layer a shadow layer, a matte layer, a sparkle layer, and then your text layer, and that is called whatever you typed in. Um, you can move the different layers around to however uh, or wherever you want it to be. Uh, that isn't working. Hold on. Um, okay, well, never mind, but as you can see, there are a lot of layers. Um, if you don't like this particular design, you can just close out of it. Um, close it, click Don't Save, then go back to File, Create, Logos, and I'll select Alien Glow. Uh, once again, I'll type in Computer Techie. I'll make my font size about 100. The font, my font, let me find that real quick. Hold on, right there, and then your glow color could be whatever you want. I like the bright green, looks really alien looking, and then just click OK. And that is all you have to do to make that logo. Um, it has three layers, the background layer, the glow layer, and your text layer. The glow layer automatically looks just like your text layer. Uh, it's created like that. So um, say, for example, you want to save it. Um, go up to file go down to save as and then name it whatever you want but after you give it a name be sure to type in dot jpg I'll save it onto my desktop click save uh, I'll just replace that select export then drag your quality to 100 percent so it's very clear and click save then you can close GIMP and here's what it looks like after you get it out of GIMP. That's all you have to do to create a cool looking logo. If you like this tutorial, um, please leave comments or send me a message. Thanks.